Rossi is excused. Alderman Mikhevich? Here. Alderman Verhalen is excused. Alderman Toman? Here. Gail? Here. Guzikowski? Here. Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, folks. Thanks for being here. Item three is the approval of minutes for February 7th, 2017. David shall make a motion to approve the minutes of 2 7 17. Call scale second. Roll call. Alderman Toman? Aye. Gail? Aye. Guzikowski? Aye. Mikhevich? Aye. Item four is just a mayoral proclamation. We want to honor Youth Art Month, and basically it's Acknowledging the hard work of art teachers and celebrating the diversity of art that happens in our high schools and grade schools across the city. So, support art. Hope to add some really cool public art in the near future. So, lots to look forward to. No actions required on that one. All right, move to public hearings. Item five is a, con a conditional use request submitted by Badger Bus Lines for an amendment to the conditional use permit along the storage of inflammable gas in excess of 5,000 gallons at 6819 South Hall Avenue in the first district. City Clerk will now read that notice. Public hearing number one is to consider a request submitted by Badger Bus Lines for an amendment to the conditional use permit allowing the storage of inflammable gas in excess of 5,000 gallons at 6819 South Hall Avenue. Applicant, applicant is Jim Meyer, property owner, Meyer Investment Group. Legal description there follows. Date of the notice is January 26, 2017. Doug. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Doug Seymour. I'm the Director of Community Development for the City of Oak Creek. And this is a public hearing and a request uh, by Badger Bus for a conditional use permit that would allow for the storage of inflammable gas in excess of 5,000 gallons for the property at 6819 South Howell Avenue. In 2016, the applicant received a conditional use permit to operate a private bus service storage yard at this address. They operate approximately 25 buses, which require refueling, obviously. And currently, there is no ability for buses to be refueled at the site. Therefore, the applicant is requesting to install an above-ground 12,000-gallon fuel tank for this purpose. Uh, this is a public hearing. I'd ask that anyone has any questions or comments regarding the proposed <coughs> amendment to conditional use permit to allow for uh, inflammable gas storage in excess of 5,000 gallons, to so please uh, sign a, an appearance form, hand that into the city clerk. When your name is called, please uh, proceed to the podium and address your comment or question. The Common Council, this public hearing is now open. And there no, were no comment forms submitted, so I'll make three quick calls for comment on item number five, call number one. Second call. Third and final call for comment on item number five. Seeing no one come forward, we'll close the public hearing, move to discussion of ordinance number 2842, it would, it would approve an amendment to a conditional use permit for the property at 6819 South Hall Avenue to allow the storage of inflammable gas in ex excess of 5,000 gallons. Questions or comments from the council? Alderman Bikavich. Uh, just to bring the rest of the council up to speed, at planning this was discussed. Um, really the biggest concern was whether it was fenced or not. It is sitting... Uh, within a fenced yard behind a garage. It's above ground. It actually passed on a unanimous vote, which is uh, interesting because we've had a number of, of uh, gas tank issues as of late and a lot of discussion went on. But in this particular case, it made sense. The turn radiuses were there and the fire department assured us that everything was up to code. So uh, it was rather a short discussion. Chris, anything? I concur. No other comments or questions? Motion on six. David will make a motion to adopt ordinance number 2842, approving an amendment to a conditional use permit for the property at 6819 South Howell Avenue to allow the storage of inflammable gas in excess of 5,000 gallons. Kuzikowski will second. Roll call. Alderman Gale. Aye. Kuzikowski. Aye. Bikavich. Aye. Tolman. Aye. Under new business, item seven is a consideration of resolution number 11801-022017. It would approve the amendment to the tax incremental district number 12 finance development agreement with IKEA Property, Inc. in the second district. Uh, Melissa? Or Mike? Thanks, Mayor. Um, 
this is just that. This is an amendment to the finance development agreement. Um, the change is to extend beyond the March 1st, 2017 effective date to May 15th to allow for the developer to complete uh, certain issues. There is also a change in terms of our underground utility schedule, extending that to April 6th. So um, part of the consideration was the weather. I know that our city engineer could perhaps um, impart more in that regard. It's been unusually warm at times, so there's been additional time needed for our contractor. So in terms of coordination with the various entities, uh, government approvals, this is accounting for uh, minimal delays. Project is still on track. Anything from the city engineer? No, it's just that uh, uh, Melissa is correct. You know, this uh, warm weather has uh, negatively affected uh, a couple of our bigger projects, our lakefront project as well. So it's got its pluses and its minuses. So What's the negative impact of nice weather? It gets really muddy out there, and, oh, okay. and you can't, and you can't, <laughs> you're just making a mess. You're better okay. off not working when, depending on what you're doing out there, but uh, putting the utilities in just, just uh, did not work in our favor. Hmm. Okay. Never thought about that one. All right. Anybody else? Motion. David shall make a, no a motion to adopt resolution number 11801-022017. Approving the amendment to the tax incremental district number 12 finance development agreement with a Kia's property, Inc. Guzikowski, I'll second. Roll call. Alderman Guzikowski. Aye. Bikavich. Aye. Toman. Aye. Gale. Aye. All right, item eight is a motion to approve the 2016 vendor summary report in the amount of $101,158.68. And 2017 vendor summary report in the amount of $1,113,262.19 for a combined total of $1,214,420.87. Bridget, the finance director is here to answer any questions or highlight anything she wishes. This will be the last check run for 2016. So you'll start seeing one number instead of the split out years here. And then I would also just like to note on um, item 16 with Stella and Chewy's, that check is based off of the development agreement. Last year we paid out a partial payment. This is our first year of the eight year term, um, paying out 75%. Okay, questions? Go ahead. ahead. Just a note for uh, the chiefs in the audience, there's also a really large check on there for new ambulance. Long delayed, long anticipated. Um, when does that take delivery? Oh, you got it already. Okay, when'd you get it? Oh. Did you have an event like with cake or anything? Or? No. Oh, okay. Nobody right. show up. Think about it. <laughs> Think about how you're going to do that. All right. <laughs> Can all right. Be in the shape if of no the other questions, <laughs> Alderman Gale, you all good? Uh, I am good to go. All right. Motion. You'll move to approve the 2016 vendor summary report in the amount of $101,158.68 and the 2017 vendor summary report in the amount of $1,113,262.19 for a combined total of $1,214,420.87. Guzikowski. Roll call. Alderman Bikavich. Aye. Tillman. Aye. Gail. Aye. Guzikowski. Aye. Under health, item nine is a consideration of resolution number 11797-022017, establishing various fees, permits, and charges charged by the city of Oak Creek. We have three members of our health. Are we called a consortium now? Is that what we are or no? The city of Oak Creek Health Department. Okay, that sounds good. That makes sense. What do you have for us? Um, well, we have a resolution to change the fees for the... Um, Restaurant, lodging, campgrounds, pool, water, attractions, tattoo, body piercing, and retail food establishments. <clears throat> and you should have all gotten a copy of a PowerPoint that went to the Board of Health, and we would entertain any questions. Um, these fees really bring us up to par with the communities that are around us as far as the licensing fees for inspections that they charge. And... Um, it also will help to better support that program so that it isn't your local tax dollars that are supporting those um, licensing 
and inspections of those facilities, it's actually going to support that portion of the environmental health program. Any concerns or, quest or significant questions raised by the Board of Health? No. No? Okay. Questions on the council? Alderman Bikavich? Just one. Could you just kind of educate me the difference between simple complexity restaurant, moderate complexity, and high complexity? Isn't an inspection uh, kind of even across the board on everything? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> it's a 45 minute PowerPoint, Dan. You want to? <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for a quick answer, but. Quick answer would work. Um, so <laughs> the state actually gives us a guideline, it's an assessment tool that determines the complexity of a restaurant. There are various features of the restaurant, um, you know, like whether they process raw food, um, the volume of food. There's about 10 different criteria, and that's used in the assessment of complexity. Um, complexity is really just another word for risk. It's a, a risk assessment tool. So the risk posed to the public is um, the same as a, a, a low-complexity restaurant, low-risk, high-complexity restaurant, high-risk. It means they're doing a lot more. Thank you. Good answer. Good answer. Thanks for explaining that. Any other questions? Motion on. Just, Go ahead. Sorry. I actually pressed my button for one. Alderman Gale. <laughs> Alderman Gale. <laughs> uh, Jack here and, uh, and Melissa too. Um, typically, we're basing our fees on cost to provide that service. Is that the case in, in these situations? Not just on based on comp cost, but these are cost-driven Right, it's based on how much time it takes to go into those inspections and um, perform the inspections, write up the orders, meet with staff, educate, all of those pieces go into what we charge for this fee. So what we have here is justifiable by what it's gonna cost us to provide these services. Correct. Anything else? Nope. Motion. Bill move to approve resolution 11797-022017 establishing various fees, permits, and charges charged by the city of Oak Creek. Guzikowski. Roll call. Alderman Toman. Aye. Gail. Aye. Guzikowski. Aye. Bikavich. Aye. Thanks for the great work. Thank you. All right, item 10 under community development is a re uh, consideration of resolution number 022017 it approves a certified survey map for Arlene Butkey We Energies and Jerry Frankie. Where have I heard that name before? Whist Park LLC for the property at 10861 South Hall Avenue in the 5th District. Doug. Thank you. This CSM creates the, uh, the lot for the Stormwater Management Basin for the Oak Creek Business Park, one of them, uh, as well as the lot two, which is for the recently approved substation, uh, leaving a residual lot of about 15 acres for future development. Uh, Planning Commission has reviewed this and recommended its approval. Okay. Anything to add, Jerry? No? Questions from the council or comments? Motion. Bill moved to approve, move to approve resolution 11800-022017, approving a certified survey map for Arlene Butkey, We Energies, and Jerry Frank at Whispark LLC for the property at 10861 South Hall Avenue. Here's the girls, girls. Roll call. Alderman Gale. Aye. Guzikowski. Aye. Bikavich. Aye. Toman. Aye. Good luck. All right, item 11 under engineering is a consideration of resolution number 11798-022017. It would approve an intergovernmental cooperation agreement between, between the city of Franklin and the city of Oak Creek, outlining responsibilities for a shared street tree planting project related to the South 27th Street reconstruction project. Project number 17020 in the second district. Mike. Thank you, Mayor. This is for the plantings, uh, trees and uh, median plantings that will be uh, installed uh, along the project route, which is uh, from just south of Drexel Avenue uh, to the North City Limits at College Ave. Uh, of course, that's a shared, uh, it's a state highway. It's a shared road between uh, Oak Creek and Franklin. And the uh, arrangement was that the DOT gave a dollar amount credit uh, towards uh, the local costs that, that uh, our two communities are responsible for, for the, for the streetscaping amongst other items. And in turn, we, we need to actually do the, do the plantings, purchase, purchase the trees and the, and the plantings and, and uh, install them. So there's a couple parts to it, but what we're dealing with here is strictly a public contract to plant the trees. 
uh, the communities are purchasing the, uh, their trees. They're going to be stored at, at Franklin uh, DPW Yard. But this uh, intergovernment cooperation agreement basically just outlines who's doing what on this on this shared tree planting contract. And I've listed some of the highlights here. Um, there's 162 trees, 81 for each each city. Um, and uh, Oak Creek is going to um, administer the contract, uh, advertise for bids. Uh, we we basically have those plants put together already. Um, we're gonna uh, Oak Creek's gonna uh, supply the topsoil and mulch for all the trees. Franklin's gonna uh, supply the uh, staking materials for all the trees. Uh, they're gonna store all the trees at their yard. They're gonna take all the excavation spoils. But basically, it's we we just kind of uh, lined out you know who, which community is gonna be responsible for what, and that's what that's what this uh, agreement is for. What staff of ours worked on this besides you? Uh, uh, Ted and Rebecca. Okay. Uh, and um, uh, on their side, uh, their city engineer and their forester as well. well. Thanks, Ted, and thanks, Rebecca, wherever you are, for making that work. It's a good to have cooperation. People always talk about conflict, but that's a good cooperative agreement between two, two big cities. I don't know. Full-time forester. I don't, Frank, full know? I don't know if he's full-time. Okay, but uh, well done. Questions? Motion. I just have one quick question. You know this this plan. I know it covers the plantings and whatnot. Now <laughs> this is between college and uh, Drexel. Right? In Drexel, a little bit south of Drexel, but yes. Is does is there another plan, or is there any total plan that extends all the way down to county line, where for both sides of the street? I don't know how to take us off topic here, but I'm right, right. Well, you know, er, early uh, planning. There, there, there's a concept plan that takes us all the way down to the county line. Um, this phase, um, I, I, do you recall what the timing is for it's the next be a phase? While. We just don't know. Yeah, yeah. so it's it's quite a ways out. Thank you. You'll be in your 80s, I think, by then. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Oh. <laughs> all right. Anybody else? Oh, what's the timeline for planting those trees for the public? You'll be in your 80s. I'll be past that <laughs> because I'm older than you. Uh, um, I believe that we gave them a, a completion date of June 15th for the trees All right, to be perfect. planted. So. All right. No other questions or comments? Motion. David shall make a motion to adopt resolution number 11798-022017, approving an intergovernmental cooperation agreement between the city of Franklin and the city of Oak Creek, outlining responsibilities for a shared tree, street tree planting project related to South 27th Street uh, reconstruction project, project number 17020. Guzikowski, I'll Roll call. Alderman Guzikowski? Aye. Bukiewicz? Aye. Tolman? Aye. Gale? Aye. And our final item tonight is licensing, and uh, Alderman Kurkowski's not here, so we'll have uh, Alderman Gale take that. <coughs> Thank you, Mayor. Uh, License Committee met on February 16th. Uh, Catherine uh, provided uh, extensive input on that meeting, along with a lot of research into the uh, items on that agenda. That said, uh, motion is to then the grant operator's license to Amanda Sala, 1942 South 80th Street, West Allis. Let's go second. Roll call. Alderman Bukiewicz? Aye. Tillman? Aye. Gale? Aye. Kuzikowski? Aye. Uh, minutes are attached, by the way, for these first two items. You can just go through them, Ken. Yep. Um, Gail moves to grant an operator's license to Shane Kelly, 3112 South New York Avenue, Milwaukee, for Water Street Brewery. Second. Kavich. Roll call. Alderman Tillman. Aye. Gail. Aye. Kuzikowski. Aye. Bukiewicz. Aye. Gail moves to grant a special event permit for the Black Back the Blue Run Walk to be held on May 20th, 2017, from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Kuzikowski, a second. Just, uh, I noticed there was an attachment from Alderman Kurkowski. Uh, just, I think his questions were answered, correct? Yes, they okay. were. Okay. Yeah, it was just a question about um, what process council usually takes. Okay, so I, yep. we'll let him know those are answered. Um, roll call. Alderman Gale. Aye. Guzikowski. Aye. Bukiewicz. Aye. Tillman. Aye. Gail moves to grant a special event permit for a Meadowview Shepherd Hills PTO event to be held on May 6, 2017 from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Guzikowski, I'll second. Roll call. Alderman Guzikowski. Aye. Bukiewicz. Aye. Tillman. Aye. Gail. Aye. 
Neil moves to grant a special event permit for the Ragnar Relay Chicago Run Walk event to be held June 9th through 10th, 2017 from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Ragnar. A.I. There's a Kalski A.I. You guys are like goofy down there. What's, how many years is that for that Ragnar race? That it's a long time. Yeah. That's the one at night? Yeah. Yeah. All right, roll call. Alderman Kavich. Hi. Tillman. Hi. Gail. Hi. Guzikowski. Hi. And the uh, item number 17 that was received after our license committee meeting, but uh, motion is to grant an operator's license to the individuals as listed. Favorable background reports were received on all four individuals. Guzikowski, I'll second. Roll call. Alderman Tillman. Aye. Gail. Aye. Guzikowski. Aye. Bukavich. Aye. Motion to adjourn. Guzikowski can make a motion to adjourn. Mm -hmm. Bukavich seconds. Roll call. Alderman Gale. Aye. Guzikowski. Aye. Bukavich. Aye. Tolman. Aye. Thank you for that. We had a cake for Arden. Arden didn't come. So we're going to have to work out something. Maybe we can call him and have him come down to City Hall. And tomorrow, yep. Yeah. Put in the fridge His actually birthday is tomorrow. Maybe he's out celebrating tonight. Thanks for everything. <laughs>